Hello, I'm Tiffany Barsodi of HealAndThrive.com and I'm going to give you a little information about what emotional memory therapy is. Let me first say what it is not. Emotional memory therapy is not a single modality. I use this as a term to describe a multidisciplinary approach, which means that I am using a lot of different modalities to be of utmost service and is really more of an umbrella to say emotional memory therapy rather than it just being a particular thing. Did you realize that every thought creates a hormone? And every hormone in our body goes to create tissues and organs in our bodies? It's kind of interesting to see it from this perspective because if we realize that the things that we've thought about, felt, are all playing a role into our physical environment, what it looks like, what it gets shaped as, what maladies or how we heal actually come on board. So the opportunity is to be able to, you get trained for how to listen to your body because the body has an innate way of healing. The body knows exactly how to heal. There's a beautiful phrase, salutogenesis. Salutogenesis means it's the actual study of how the body is healing itself. There's a whole line of medicine that is focused on salutogenesis. And it would be beautiful for us to be able to remind ourselves that because we have the ability to heal ourselves, sometimes all we need to do is just pluck off a layer here and there, take things apart in order to, to, in order to get to a, a root cause of something, something that may be plaguing you from early on that you started with a simple belief about something that turned into an inherent truth. When we, if we go back and we look at that belief, is that still true? There's a, a beautiful thing about our subconscious mind in that there is the prime directive of the subconscious mind is to keep us healthy, happy, whole, maybe not sometimes not always happy, but healthy and whole, and in a state of being able to regenerate. And sometimes our subconscious will bring something up to the surface for us to deal with it. So if the habit has been, no way, I can't deal with it, I don't want anything to do with that, and push it away and get rid of it, that actually is doing yourself a disservice. So the work that I will do but in many different modalities in emotional memory therapy is look for what is going to be the language that your soul and your psyche actually want to heal in. It's not a one-size-fits-all world, hence there being a multidisciplinary approach. I'm trained in a lot of different modalities to be able to listen and pay attention to what is going to be the best thing. And if something doesn't work, we'll go on to the next thing. So the idea with the subconscious raising something to the level of your awareness is really an opportunity. We are never the same people as when the memory was first laid down. We always have more maturity, more resources, the much time after. And so being able to go and look at yourself from that observer's point of view and with some objectivity to be able to see that, wait a minute, I can get my power back. I can be in control of where I put my focus and attention. So repetitive thoughts, repetitive dreams, things like that are a way of the psyche and the soul actually giving you a clue that there's something here to work on. If you're interested and want to know more about emotional memory therapy, I'm available to do free 15-minute consults. Please click on the link and book time for you and I to have a conversation about it. Thank you.